Hey, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you're from. Thanks for joining us today. We got a new camera. I have not been involved in a heavy farm equipment accident and lost the top of my head, but it's got remote control. So we're gonna get that dialed up right there. And uh, we're gonna figure it out. Hey, uh, housekeeping, if you've just joined us, go to your three dots on your screen, it depends what kind of device you're on, and click speaker view. And then that should allow you to view the screen from our presentation to uh, the speaker. Uh, and without viewing all the participants on the call. Thank you guys for joining us today. We'll give it another couple minutes. It's 12.03. Some folks have uh, a little login problems from time to time. I should be able to pin my video. Not sure what happened. Spotlight, pin, speaker view. And if you could mute your devices, that would be great too. We've been editing our uh, presentations and recording them. So we're recording this one. We put them on our website. So if you or your colleagues or friends would like to see a uh, video going forward, uh, you can go to our website and it will lead you to some of the recorded ones. We're gonna have some encore presentations of some other products and mix and matching some products in the future, as well as a CEU, a standing CEU every Friday at noon Eastern time. So uh, if you've joined us for that, thank you. We've got another couple different CEUs that we're gonna offer, but we've been giving Thinstone Veneer the basics for the past six weeks and uh, they, the participation has not dropped off. We've got some exciting designer interviews, some designers like Aaron Adams and Giovanni uh, uh, Barbieri, as well as some of uh, local designers from around the country that have specified our products on jobs. And so uh, we look forward to having those interviews and um, hopefully that's more exciting than me because those are the folks that uh, design. With me today helping out is, I'm gonna zoom out here. My longtime colleague and good friend, Shay Reckner. Shay is uh, six feet away. We're practicing social distancing uh, as well as mask. Uh, you've joined us more than once. Maybe my jokes are becoming like dad jokes and I'm saying them over and over again. But I thought it was funny that my boys, one's uh, 17 and one's 13 when we gave them their mask. Uh, it took them all about, uh, my eighth grader, all about uh, five seconds to fashion it into some sort of tropical garment, uh, like a bikini thing. And he thought that that was kind of funny. But uh, we're, uh, we're prepared for social distancing and we're fortunate and glad that you guys are here. Uh, we're glad that this gives us a chance to reach out and see each other. And in fact, in some situations, we're becoming more uh, connected uh, this way than we were before. And we're able to share and and uh, it's exciting to see even in the short few weeks that we've been doing this, how we're able to share our products and grow and have great success, right, Shay? Yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. Right. Shay, we go ahead and introduce yourself and tell them what you do here. Hi everyone, I'm Shay. Um, so I manage the Southern US and the Mid-Atlantic for sales, um, as well as a few other things around the office, but I've been working for Realstone for is that eight years now? Eight years. Eight years, baby. So I started when I was, fresh out of college and I'm still here. So, um, but it's been awesome. I mean, when I first started with Real Stone, we only offered stacked stone panels. So I would pack up my cart in Chicago and wheel it around. Um, and to see how far we've grown as a company in our product offerings, how we do business, um, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's, uh, it, it's flown by, but at the same time, you know, I look back and it feels like a lifetime ago when, um, you know, we only offered stack stone because we've got so many, you know, different products and more to come too. Um, leather, wood, glass mosaics. So it's fun. It's been really fun. Yeah, it's been really fun. And it's fun to deal with you guys. That's our favorite part of the job. And that's what we miss the most is interacting with you guys. So um, we got lots of remotes going on here. Once again, if you just joined the call, mute your device, hit speaker view. And we'll get ready to share our screen and we'll cut back and forth and we'll show you products uh, 
as we go along too. We've got a lot of images today, and today is a pool and outdoor area presentation. And um, so let's just kick it off, and we're just going to talk about what we see. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit them in chat. And if we don't address them during the call, we'll follow up with you afterwards. But we'll check in with chat from time to time and, and address the questions. So uh, feel free to type on there. Daryl Young, welcome. And so Real Stone Systems, if this is your first time with us, started off, as, like Shay said earlier, as a panelized stone company. The stone you see in the middle there is a true 6x24 panel. And we're commonly known as best in class in the ledger stone industry. There's a lot of big box quality. You can go into Home Depot and see products that are big box quality. And, and um, most people that we work with feel that those don't meet the critical design uh, criteria that they have for their projects. So uh, square panels, six by 24 panels, and, and we got more innovative and we introduced more colors from different parts of the world. Our quality and demands on where we got those from and what they were uh, packaged, delivered, and uh, re on the wall to you all remain the same. So you can always uh, rest assured that we do our very best to maintain a high level of quality, a high level of commitment, customer service, and all those things that go along with uh, being a great partner. There's a couple other products in that picture, and we're going to talk about them today. As you see, we've even got natural wood from Reclaimed Boats. Uh, the product, it's an octagon, is called the Hive, and it's made from a 90% marble dust, 10% resin, and the product on the bottom is our tempered tile, which is an interior product, but being used on many pool houses and um, uh, one of our top selling products in the last two years. It's been specified a lot for um, mixed use. So hospitality and then a lot of like multifamily amenity spaces. Uh, that's where it's been really hot recently. Yeah, Shay's had a ton of success with that commercially and residentially in hospitality. So. Um, if you've got any questions regarding innovation or customer service, our operators are standing by now. Uh, special orders, if you can dream it, give us a shout. Uh, boy, we can't make everything, but we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of folks on our team and we're able to get a lot of custom specifications done and more and more with our global resourcing. We've been around since 2005. Uh, not only do we have experience, but we've got a lot of things that lead to that including pro resources like testing and documentation and design tools, uh, even our packaging, how things are delivered to the job site are critical and how our products are put together. So uh, the multiple points of shipping and handling, when it gets unpacked and put on the wall, it meets the punch list of your clients or yourself or uh, whatever it is that you're um, trying to accomplish. Natural stone, tile, and specialty products. And here's a big range here. And we've got a lot of images, so I'm going to uh, cruise through these, but we've got tiles in different shapes as well as uh, from 24 by 24 to 18 by 18, 12 by 24, 6 by 24, as well as uh, vitrified ceramics, stone mosaics. Uh, this wood on the left is a natural wood and the wood on the right is a faux wood. So it made it from 90% marble dust, 10% resin. Once again, wears like stone, uh, looks like wood. Many of our products uh, contribute to lead and green, and then our tools that many of the designers and clients use from our visualizer, which allows you to take a picture of a rendering or a room and put our stone on there, to our hatch patterns, 3D warehouse, Google SketchUp, our testing data, MSDS, and uh, our product calculator. We've just updated our website, and we uh, Hope you enjoy that. Please go to realstone.com to check that out. Here's an example of our hatch patterns and just some of the products that we're gonna talk about today. Um, consistency uh, or inconsistent consistency is a, a phrase that we use, our sales team uses a lot because our stones are completely random looking but there really is a plan to them. And when you look at these hatch patterns, it really illustrates that if you pick an accent stone, it's gonna have three big pieces and look like this. But uh, it's going to, um, uh, when it's on the wall, it's going to look completely random and flow. 
The estate stone on the right is a uh, underneath 15 pounds per square foot mounted on a stainless steel mesh, but looks like a onesie twosie stone. Shay, would you like to talk about how we categorize our products by colors? Yeah, sure. So um, in our past catalogs and brochures, um, we broke down our products by panel type. So shadow stone, lead stone, thin stone. Um, and unless you're selling our product line or you're out showing it every day, that can get confusing, all the different names. So um, probably about a year ago, uh, we decided, we came together and um, redesign the format of all of our product offerings. Um, it's, and if you've been um, a part of any of the presentations I've given, um, I, it's, I've used the word, um, you know, all these products are just visual, right? So um, if it's visual, we want to do it in color groupings, um, things that blend together because, you know, I know when I get requests from designers, it's usually what products do you have in a blue tone or a gray tone? Um, so we wanted to make our brochure workable, um, easy for uh, any, you know, anyone from a homeowner to, you know, a specifying architect, so. There you go, cream and warm tones, your whites, your grays, and then we've got blacks and blues. Um, and then I think the next one is like earth tones and wood looks. So um, I love the layout like that. I hope you guys do too. And then some fun vignettes. Um, I laid out a few of those. Uh, we have fun with it, right? With different tchotchkes and props and things like that. Um, but what we really love seeing is our partner reps and um, the palettes that they come up with when they're presenting our product lines to um, specific, uh, architects and designers, you know, mixing and matching our products with, with other lines that they carry too. We love that as well. So um, all of us, you know, search social media for pictures like that and we'll reshare and repost. So if you ever um, put some cool palettes together, please send them to us. You know, we love to promote those um, and share them with the rest of our team. Hey, we also love it when you ask us, hey, can you send me these samples? I'd like to make some vignettes and show those because we love it when you show our stuff. If you're one of our right. reseller partners or you're one of our influencers in the design community that has clients come in, we would love to put vignettes together for you. Whether you want us to help or you want to do it yourself, our sales reps, we talk about that frequently, how we're presenting, how our products go together, how they, how they uh, compare and contrast each other. So um, get inspired. Hey, this is a pool, and, and Shay represents a, uh, a younger, cooler crowd. I'm, I'm a little older. I'm in my 50s, and, and uh, uh, so, uh, boy, these, the social media and the way that these, our, our younger team puts vignettes together, uh, we've got some great salespeople that are in my age bracket, but uh, uh, we're not, you know, some of the guys, we're, we're not stylish, we're cavemen, and that's good, that's why we're selling rocks, but Shay and, and a lot of our other team uh, does a wonderful job, so um, we, we got you covered, whether it's your basic masonry install or it's something very fancy. This happens to be a pewter job. Uh, this is a wonderful picture with lighting and stone, and it's on knee walls with a water feature on the back, our stones all the way down the back there. And one of the, as you look at this, look at this corner. Uh, what a wonderful design solution. And we'll talk about corners in a second and how that important that is to the, to the uh, product and the installation. This happens to be a frost. Uh, it's a marble out of Mexico on a radius wall. And uh, six by 24 panels do work on inside and outside radius walls. This happens to be a ledge stone, uh, which means a split face. And it, we've got it curved all the way around this fire pit. There were some cuts and uh, made to make that work because that's a really tight radius. Um, and this one, they happen to use some pool copings to go around the top, but we also have caps and wall caps and uh, hearth stones and accessories that mix and match with that too as well. This is a honed marble called Frost from Mexico, and it looks beautiful. One thing you notice from a technical as point, a aspect is you don't see where the panels are and where they stop. A lot of folks talk about a Z panel 
heightening the flow of the product. And that's not completely true because if you have more places for spaces, you have more potential contact points of what's going um, And especially on a lighter stone, you can wind up with, it looks like someone outlines it with a Sharpie. Another shot with frost. Here's playing with textures. Not only do we have a honed product in front and on the left and right, but we also have uh, this split face uh, in the middle mixed in with some mosaics. And while these aren't our mosaics, we've got uh, a nice uh, announcement, a sneak peek for, uh, on some glass mosaics coming up in our future for your outdoor and pool products and designs. This is not a pool, but uh, Chicago skyline with a nice rooftop and another illustration of a uh, wonderful corner. Our corners are designed to uh, match the panels, be the same height, cover the same square footages, and you're able to do inside and outside corners with them too because of their, um, their two-piece. And we'll show you those in a second as well. I love this installation too because uh... We get questions all the time. Can you use your panels, uh, natural stone panels, um, exterior water features? And absolutely you can. I mean, look at this installation with, uh, they're literally spraying water on the panels um, and it's held up beautifully. So uh, anyways. No, that's a great point, Shay. It's fun to see that um, because, you know, we always get questions of can it go in, you know, submerged in water, um, you know, constantly facing, you know, a water environment and it absolutely can, it's natural stone. It is a, uh, and that one happens to be a quartzite, which is very durable. One thing that we uh, like to do with our stones is have them tested, ASTM tested for freeze thaw. Now, whether you're in a freeze thaw climate or not, what it does is it's telling of the quality of stone. So you can have a slate that meets freeze thaw, or you can have a other species of stone that don't. And a lot of manufacturers don't test their stones. So it's always important to ask for documentation and support and, and uh, that goes with the stone. Not only that, but the dimensions. I'm gonna get real technical real quick. I wanna show you the corner so we don't blow by it because I already talked by it twice. This is a two piece corner. It comes in a box just like this. You pull it out, it's a mat, match set, it's ground on the back to fit and minimize overhang. So I put it together like that. It's completely tight. There's no gaps or spaces. Furthermore, there's no glue on the back of the panel. You can't see light through there. There's no glue on the face. Six by 24, a lot of the panels on the market are metric, which means they're uh, 23 and 5 eighths by five and seven eighths and the bigger the job the less uh the more your takeoffs are going to be off there's a nice inside corner and designers really we win jobs That's a big plus for that one yep because i mean a lot of manufacturers of natural stone don't even offer corners um so they have to miter you know panels together on the job site that takes more time so being able to offer something like this where it's a fingered corner and you can flip it inside and outside is awesome we've gotten yeah we've won Lots of jobs from that. Great For point, sure. Shay. The labor savings on this corner alone, not having to mess with it, grind it down and put it on the job. Um, we're not the cheapest guy on the market. And a lot of times we're the most expensive guy, but we don't run from that because product uh, cost and on the wall cost are two totally different things. And many times so many people get caught up in the square footage, footage of what the product, they forget uh, about the whole system in the install. Let's check a chat. We got two chats. Let's see what that is. Oh, would love giant slabs of stone to run up a fireplace wall up to 60 inches, but continuous slabs, not small pieces that add up a hole. Kelly, uh, we'd love that too. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you about that. We don't typically, um, you do huge pieces of stone and sometimes transporting stone from different parts of the world can be a challenge, but uh, we would be happy to talk about what you think is giant and, um, and our rep who covers you will be following up with you. Thank you for your question.
like this shot. I love I've heard it. you say that before. I wish this was my house. Wouldn't that be nice? Here's a blue stone installed vertically in Chicago, uh, the Roosevelt Collection and, um, at Clark and Roosevelt. Same place. Same place. A knee wall with a limestone honed. It, it's a very simple way. Because the products are all under 15 pounds per square foot, you can go over CMU, cement board, uh, you could go over your foundation of your house if you wanted to, as long as there's no bond breakers. And if you've got a technical question on how and when and where to install, give us a call. We've got plenty of expertise on that and plenty of partners in the industry as well. This is a, a quartzite again, a black quartzite shadow stone. Another illustration of a beautiful corner and just a nice place to have a beer. This is our Sierra Shadow Stone, one of our um, biggest oldie selling but goodies. But yeah, oldie but goodie. That's right. One of our biggest selling products. Actually, it's a uh, accent stone uh, through the, through the years for the history of our business. It's one of our original. It's the OG, the original gangster, and uh, that's right, the goat, the greatest of all time. This happens to be Terracotta, uh, goat's little brother. This, this is like one of our top, I mean, this is probably our most popular profile is this white birch. Um, it's just such a clean, I love it. it it's great coloring. It, it works in so many different types of applications. It's modern, but you can, you know, dress it down and put it in a more, you know, classic design. So uh, it's very versatile. Well, and if you like this limestone, you can mix and match panels, tiles, We've got a split face, we've got this shadow stone version, and we even have a thin version too. Um, and this is a very popular colorway with the whites and the grays. The other thing that just reminds me of is uh, we're seeing more and more of folks having a fireplace or backsplashes that open up to the back of the house and how the, the stones, the ability in ours, the testing data and everything that goes with it allows you to have bring the inside out and the outside in and create those spaces as people are investing in their homes rather than moving, they're creating all these outdoor spaces. So uh, a trend that we love. More of the white birch honed. Shay, talk about the hive. So this is fun. This actually, this installation is um, up in Canada, believe it or not. So the, you know, one or two days a year that you can use an outside shower, I guess. but. Um, that's our hive. It's the recycled stone dust with um, resin. So it's 90% crushed marble and travertine dust and then 10% resin. Um, so that leads it to be uh, non-porous um, and UV stable. So I know Kevin, I think you've had like a hive or an antique wood piece, um, same material, but sitting out in his backyard for a number of years um, and the coloring never faded. So uh, it's an awesome option for a really fun, funky, uh, wall feature. I've even had designers put it in the art budget instead of in the wall covering budget um, and treat it like a piece of artwork with some uh, feature lighting. They let it fade off the wall. Um, that image that you see there, they grouted it obviously for a shower installation, but really a really fun product. The, the, the stone itself, we, we had this product. We have a product in planks the same way, and there's some images of that, and we'll talk about it. But it has so much realism to it because it's actually made in hickory molds, and the hickory molds have depth and contours, and what is replicated in the product is uh, veining and spaces, and um, the fact that it's UV stable, it wears like rock, but it looks like wood, allows for zero maintenance. The best faux stone product on the market. Uh, in fact, we call other faux stones fake stone. So uh, we feel it's passive aggressive, disrespectful. Uh, and while we've got the camera on, I'll grab. We actually had so many responses on the wood. Shay has the dark version, and they can see you. You're just the chats there, I think. And this is the light version, and it's got knot holes and depth and, and worm holes, and there's, it's, there's no repeatability. It's like one every 5,000 uh, because of the way it's cut. 
and the natural hickory molds give it just uh, uh, an unprecedented wood look in the industry. People can't tell yeah. when it's in person. I mean, I had designers running their fingers over it thinking that they're going to get a splinter because it's so real looking when you see it in person. So. And you've specified this for hospitality outside? Yeah, um, yep. And we've got corner pieces for it. Um, they're all different sizes to fit in since they're interlocking points. Um, so. And that's a little bit of, of the, and we love our new camera, look at that. But it, you've got an innie and an outie, for lack of a technical term. And what you wind up with is. They oh, wanted a close up of the one I was holding. Closer, closer. Walk around. <laughs> Don't look at my unmanicured nails, please. Oh. See? There we go. Nice. All right. And then I, <laughs> I panned over here to the side. Um, and that is actually the uh, etched on the wall. So we have two stone versions. One has a pattern in it and one is just chiseled. So you have options on the hive uh, and they work great in wet areas, inside, outside. Once again, zero porosity, completely UV stable. Social distance check. All right. How are we on time, Shay? We got 1230. 1230. All right. So we're going to show you a bunch of images. We're going to be really respectful of your time. You're welcome to stay on. If you'd like a copy of this Power presentation, PowerPoint presentation or any of the images, high def uh, for your devices. Uh, Please feel free to follow up with us. And if you'd like it to re watch the recorded, that, that'll be available too. We've turned the stones vertical. This is a copper quartzite. It's vertical on this portion and horizontal on this per portion. Another water feature. The wonderful thing about natural stone versus fake stone is that so many fake stones, especially in these hot climates when you see desert terrain and sunshine is that they fade over time. The other thing is it's a lot less porous. So it's much more robust. Uh, it, it, and the, the most important thing is the way it looks. I play a game with my sons and I've been playing it since they were little. I've been at Real Stone for 10 years called Fake Stone, Real Stone as we drive down the road. And whether it's a natural stone that's ours or somebody else's, it's always fun to, for them to point out even when they were little uh, that that looks like a fake stone. Hey, we love the knee walls. We love the walls. This products and, uh, are also used for the outside of houses, the front ways, the wainscot, as well as the inside and bathrooms, fireplaces and fire pits. In addition uh, to the uh, availability of our natural stone, we also have mosaics in the same colors. So if you're adding texture and depth and dimension and you want to have the same species of stone, that's available to you. We're talking about pools today. And one of the biggest trends that we've seen, especially in a lot of the markets, is pool houses. This is a little pool house uh, in California, 499 foot square foot house can be built without on the pool without a permit. So you're seeing all these little pool houses with a lot of high end finishes in them popping up. So that's both our mosaics on the floor and on the wall too, just so you. Shay, you, you got a show and tell. Oh, this is just one of the mosaics in our vignette. Let's see it. <laughs> if, you, if you walk closer, that camera will pick up the, the graining. Or I zoom in. One of the two. Hold, Hold on. Yeah. It takes just a minute here. There it is. Yeah. So this one doesn't have a lot of veining in it, um, but you know, each piece is different because it's natural stone. So some will have more gray veining than others, um, but really beautiful product for floors and for walls. Do you stock everything you've shown today? We stock 95% uh, of everything in here. Now we stock a lot more of some things than, than we do than the others. Um, the, uh, the, old, the old generals uh, that we sell a lot of and we have a history, clearly we have a lot more of those. But if you've got a project with a lead time, our reps 
really love to be involved and help you uh, when you start working on a project, you know it's coming up, you report to Shay and say, hey Shay, I'm working on this project and I'll need ins to match the panels and I need you know, 1,500 feet of this and I'm gonna need it in six weeks or eight weeks and we do our best to put it together with all the accessories. So communication um, and just partnering up on things so your project uh, when it winds up on the wall is what um, your design intent and, and the dream of what your client wanted. So um, thank you for that question, Elizabeth. Nan, you're looking for pool deck material in Florida. Uh, we have some pool deck material right now, lighter in color, but uh, I'd be interested uh, from a design standpoint to hear what you're talking about because we're always adding new products and new segments. So we'll be following up with you two afterwards. Can you show a close-up of the piece? Thanks, Tim. We got that. I gotta be, I'm like a bad drummer. Share screen. Tiles and trims. If you see one of our panels, uh, chances are there's a tile or trim that matches it, if not the same species of stone. This is called our spalted oak. It's a travertine. We've seen that pick. A great illustration of how to utilize light and seating and uh, that one probably works three seasons out of the year. Our Sierra Shadow Stone. This product is our estate stone. It's a one square foot product. I'm gonna show the panel and then we'll show images real quick just so you understand what it is and why it's so important. As big and cumbersome as this product is, it covers one square foot. Every piece is completely random and different, yet it's completely square across the top, no different than our 6x24s. We put a stainless steel mesh on the back that's rigid. You can install this just like a large format tile. So the takeaway is it installs 30 to 50% faster. And when it's on the wall, it's completely random. So the speed on the wall is wonderful. And the final look is incredible. This is a corner. It actually resembles a full bed corner the way it wraps around and it's cut. You're able to do corners, columns very quickly. It's got a short piece and a long piece. State stone. There's a state stone on the interior. On a wall with our wall caps cut. A nice illustration of a corner and a pizza oven in the back. Uh, a little shady, but there's some a state stone on the same project. This is our latte. It's got geodes and fossils and crystals in it and a, uh, a, a range of beiges and browns. This is the Berkshire buff, which is the white gray uh, colorway. This is the gateway to the Fountain of Youth, which is a pool and uh, it deserves an elegant treatment. I don't know where that's a gateway to. Another, uh, our most rustic, robust stone matched up with a very refined mosaic. All our panels, our, our technical information is on the website if you have any questions. Wall caps, hearth pieces, sills with drip edges cut in the bottom. These are some honed contemporary products from Portugal, two marbles and two limestones. Uh, actual, these three products are rated for exterior, uh, Terra Dimensional, Sinza, and Venata. Our antique wood panels again. And this is what the antique wood looks like on a project. Here's the hive cut. Uh, notice the attention to the detail. We don't have a corner on this, but it was engineered very well. Here is what the wood looks like on the back and how clean and uh, Wonderful the corner is on that. 
A reclaimed wood boat panels. Would you like to talk about that, Shay? Sure. Um, really Do you have any? Uh, yeah, let me grab you one. Um, so these are from uh, really old fishing boats, like over a hundred year old um, fishing boats. So it's reclaimed boat wood that is assembled into a panelized system. It's backed on a mesh. Um, the pieces are really lightweight too. Um, so super easy to install. I mean, we've had homeowners put it up over the weekend. Uh, I've seen it done on headboards behind beds, pretty cool things. Um, but we are going to be actually launching a new profile of the Boatwood soon. So we're really excited about this because you can kind of DIY it or leave it as it is. Um, it's an unfinished Boatwood. So it's not stained or colored. Um, it has that natural, um, some people have been calling it a naked look, but I prefer to maybe call it like an unfinished. I think marketing natural, went natural. It's natural on our website oh, now. Yeah, okay. right. So, um, so we've got this and then two other colors, uh, the uh, dark and the multi. And the dark wood, the one, I think that's the one that you're holding. No, yes. this is the multi. This is a little bit more honed and refined and polished, but the dark one is more rustic. And so you will find some existing like paint chippings on it, um, old mesh from the boat itself. So some really cool um, attributes to it. That, that, I mean, shows a piece of history sort of. So um, it really has a great story. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And <laughs> while we say it's an interior only product, we've had people uh, build fire pits out of it and say, hey, it's from boats, it's wood. I don't care if it's going to weather outside. That's what I'm looking for. So uh, we said it's America. Uh, Tim saw the video of the old boat wood. Can you share uh, where I would find this video? Was it on YouTube? Real Stone Systems YouTube channel, as well as on our website, realstonesystems.com. Brian, we'll get you a, a copy of the, of the uh, presentation. If you uh, registered for this, we are recording it and we'll review the chat and we'll connect your name. Um, if not, send an email to sales at realstonesystems.com. I'm gonna go through a couple more pictures. I understand if you have to get, but uh, I just wanna share some great images. These are our Alessio 3D collection. These are 24 by 24 pieces of stone. And to show them is to really understand. What they are. Very heavy. Get a full core workout doing squats with those things. But they're underneath 15. Yeah, I'm with it. Just kidding. So uh, we have four colors stocked in these, but if you see a design in a different stone color that we have, we can do customs as well. In fact, we did the University of Illinois football coach's office with a 36 inch eye and wrapped it uh, with the ledge stone panels that matched it and hit the bottom part of it with tiles. So uh, creativity. Let us know. Maybe we can help. There it is mixed and matched with tiles that were custom made. It's in a casino in Las Vegas. Here it was actually cut down to um, be able to be installed on this with matching stone tiles on the rest of the fireplace. We uh, touch on slant stitch very quickly. Sure, so slant stitch, um, I did a presentation on this a couple of weeks ago, but it, they're vitrified um, ceramic tiles. So they are nominally a 12 by 12. Um, but they are rated, they are, have a DCOF, DCOF testing. Um, we got that done to, um, to make sure that they can commercially go on um, flooring or uh, be installed on floors. So um, they passed that, which is awesome. So these products are not just for walls. You can use them in high traffic areas, um, you know, commercial applications. They're good for that. So these are the four different 
um, patterns. They're really fun, colorful, uh, youthful, um, uh, you know, kind of trendy, a trendy look to add to a space. And Aaron Adams designed it too. So you can get those. Those are the four colors we stock, but you can get these designs in anything in the Pantone scale. Yep. We've got a lead time and we have a custom option too. Great. So if you had a picture of uh, a flower and you wanted to put it on there, we have a minimum order of about 100 square feet. Right. Yeah, I had a designer in uh, New Orleans, I think, who wanted um, like uh, cow spots almost, black and white, and they just sent a picture. And uh, the company that we work with, I mean, they were able to, you know, format that onto a tile like this. So pretty cool. Floor walls, commercial or residential. Shay, if you missed it, uh, has a presentation with Aaron Adams talking about tempered and uh, in depth. And while this is an interior product, we love it. And um, we'll be having more interviews with Aaron and more product selections on this one too as well. And you can see Shay and Aaron's presentation on our website. These are subway style uh, tiles, subway shape, four of them equal one square foot, uh, lending a versatility of design colorways. We've got some more colorways coming out soon, as well as mosaics. Uh, this happens to be a pool house in interior, but they use the marine and they put it in uh, one of those 499 square foot pool houses. And here's another pool house. Uh, an example, while it doesn't have our stone on it yet, um, this is an example of what we're seeing more and more um, in the pool industry. And coming soon, Shay. This is fun. It's exciting. I mean, look at those pictures. They are breathtaking to me. Um, recycled glass mosaics out of uh, Mexico. So, I mean, just look at the vibrancy of all of these colors. Um, the, the history of the company that we're working with, too, in Mexico is they're incredible. It's a family-owned company. Um, they specialize in smalty tile. Um, and so I believe that there, it was the great, great grandfather who started this company. And he, um, you know, started uh, creating these glass mosaics after the original, you know, Italian um, tile makers. So um, we're still learning everything about what goes into glass mosaics. So bear with us or with me if I'm explaining it incorrectly, but I mean, we're, we're so excited to promote and take on this, uh, this new line for us. It's, uh, it's going to be a game changer. So um, yeah, just look at all these beautiful applications. And what we do know is they're pool rated. We do know that um, uh, we can do customization um, and there's metals, glass that look like metal. Uh, so uh, boy, we're excited to bring this to you guys, so stand by, and if you have any questions on this, we'd be happy to reach out to you, too, as well. We love the idea of possibly having a chance to participate in, in the pool, not just around the pool. A black mosaic infinity pool. Look at that. It's incredible. Folks, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. This is Shay Reckner, and uh, to a lot of you, she's your rep and uh, your A&D rep. Um, and to us, she's an important part of the team, so thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, everybody, uh, we appreciate it during this time, and we're getting better at uh, the virtual presentation. So if you have customers or clients, and we can get together this way, and we can show exactly what you want to show, let us know. We'll help. Our PowerPoint presentations are available to you, our images. Uh, we just want to partner up, and we want to get through this the best we can. So um, we'll see you on... I would say have fun with it. Have fun with it, right. Thank you. We'll see you on Friday. We have a CEU if you're available. And next Wednesday, uh, we've got another product presentation. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you there. And then we'll have some interviews on Instagram coming up, some live interviews with some of our designers as well. Thanks, everybody.